It didn't take rocket science for Paul to comprehend that she was no longer leading him anywhere. Like she'd shown him everything he needed to know, and it was his move. There were no more clues. He had lost her scent. If anything, the GPS signal appeared to be now tracking him. Paul had hoped that remaining in the open would draw her out. He waited until dusk for her to emerge, making himself obvious in the park outside her hotel room window, out there where she could gaze down on him from her ivory tower. But somehow he had lost the intuitive trail she had been laying out for him. It was as if she had vanished. Except for the GPS signal that had indicated she was always nearby, but refused to show herself. Paul lingered, wandering aimlessly through the damp cold until it was obvious nothing was going to happen, and he returned to his room. There wasn't much Paul could do about her now, except concern himself with the seashell. Perhaps that was why she'd vanished. It was his move. It was a puzzle. Why would a surveillance team be unable to locate her anywhere near him if the signal seemed to be right there? There was something wrong. Clearly, she had played him, and without a GPS, he had lost her. She had led him right to the gallery, and so much as showed him what painting she was going to steal, and vanished. Even so, all he had to do now was go to the gallery and wait for her. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The National Gallery will be closing in five minutes. But Paul knew she was smarter than that. She had shown Paul that painting for a reason. There was something she wanted him to see in it. Something connected to the golden spiral. Something she knew he would be able to find.
Ladies and gentlemen, the National Gallery is now closed. Please proceed to the main exit at street level. And he did find it. Using the principles of the golden spiral, he was able to isolate a tiny flaw in the painting that he'd taken photos of that day. And he found what she wanted him to see. And when he saw it, it all made sense to him. Everything that had been happening to him for weeks before he had accepted the mission, she had been setting him up for this moment. But it was too late. There was only one person on the planet who would have been capable of such a thing. Only one human being who knew him so well so as to even predict his thoughts and emotions. One person who knew the principles of an electromagnetic pulse and how to produce one. Only one person who would even know where to get a helio coil. Only one person who wore that kind of perfume. <laughs> 